Nightmare Hood Garage. And today we're back working on the Pontiac G6. And today we're gonna replace the oil sender, the oil pressure sender that's located at the front of the engine. If you're getting a P0522 or a P0523, either a low or a high oil pressure problem on your code reader, well, this is what you gotta replace it with. And let's get into how to fix it. Let's go. First thing we gotta do is we gotta get this hood up. And then we got to disconnect the battery. Super easy to take this off. A clip here, a clip there. It comes up and off. Put that off to the side. Next, you're just going to go ahead and disconnect your negative cable. And that's probably a 10 mil. Oh, looky there, 10 mil. Just get it loose and off to the side. All right, now we're safe to work on the car. Next, jack up the passenger side of your G6. and always use a jack stand. Safety. All right, so we are under the car. The front of the car is going this way. The back of the car is going that way. The very front of the motor is your starter. If you find that, you'll find your oil filter. And then right up there, which you can't see, but those wires that are above the oil filter, that's where that little sender lives. So in order to get to it, you have to pull off that little bracket right there for the starter, then the two bolts for the starter, let it hang. That will get you access to this side. There's another bracket, undo that, and then we can get to that sensor. So uh, let's get started. All right, 10 millimeter, the two bolts that hold the plastic cover over the starter. second bolt and then this whole piece here just comes right out set that aside now the starter bolt one here and there's one there okay this is a longer bolt it goes to the back the shorter one goes to the front of the car so we're going to take those two out now okay 15 millimeter on those we'll loosen one and we'll loosen this one we we'll have a tool for this One short bolt. And there's that long bolt. Now you can see it's free. So that's good enough for now. Now we need to get it back in over here. So this here, nut here, holds on a little bracket that you can move out of the way until you can get to that sensor. 13 millimeter. And just like that, she's loose. Okay, there she is. Set that off to the side. Now that bracket. Okay, now that you got that nut off, all you're going to do is bend that bracket off a little. It's just light metal. Okay, now right here, Make sure you have eye protection on. This is that sender going to it. Just like that. Take a screwdriver and get it out. Next, move it out of the way. There is your sending unit. Now, with a 27 millimeter socket, you're going to need a deep one. Get in there and start undoing it. And just take your time. And once you got it loose, you should be able to reach in there with your hand and twist it off. And some oil's coming out. Okay, here's our new one. We'll put a little oil on that O-ring right there. We'll stick it back in there. Tighten it by hand. All right. 
now and just tighten it down. All right, then we'll plug it back in. Okay, so reverse, just put the bolts back into the starter. Yes, absolutely, she can. Make sure they're tight. All right, now put the cover on. Guess we could put the uh, 13 mil back on that too. Just like that. Get your two 10 mils. started get the other started and now we'll zip those on and just snug them down okay done and done Let's start it up. Let's see what our uh, codes say. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, putting in that new oil pressure switch in your Pontiac G6, pretty easy stuff to do. You got to move a bracket around, move some things around, but simple, easy to do job for yourself. Remember, 27 millimeter socket for that switch. I want to thank the boys down at CarQuest, Wayne, and the crew for helping us out, taking care of us with parts on this Pontiac G6. If you're a G6 owner, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you have any problems with your G6. I'll do my best to make a video on how to fix the problem that you're having on your G6. So until then, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.